There was a time in the American frontier west when the federal government had forts and they conducted business and missions in these forts along the lines that they wanted but the supplies for the forts were contracted out to American Free Enterprise and American Free Enterprise brought the supplies to the frontier using wagon trains and eventually they built railroads all with the help from the federal government and this eventually led to the settlement of the frontier that we call the West. Fast forward 150 years and we are seeing the same story being replayed. The setting's a little different. The frontier is now space, perhaps the ultimate frontier. And the mission is still being conducted by the federal government. However, the supplies are about to be delivered via American free enterprise. And this tried and true system, which helped settle the American West, will help contribute to getting the space frontier settled as well. Now, the first American free enterprise delivery of goods and supplies is going to occur with SpaceX and their spacecraft Dragon on its first wagon journey to the International Space Station. Then there will be other vehicles designed by Orbital Sciences, Cygnus, and perhaps even more and they will be bringing supplies to Space Station so that we can continue to conduct the business of exploring space in this frontier. When Dragon shows up here in a couple of weeks, Andre Kuipers and I will be the crew that flies a robotic arm, we'll be working together, and the Dragon vehicle does not dock to Space Station, it flies close to Space Station, and then uh, Andre and I working together will fly the arm close to the vehicle and we'll kind of lasso it, we'll snag it, and then we'll use the arm to manipulate the vehicle and bring it up to one of our docking systems. We call this berthing, not docking. And then uh, once it is berthed to space station, we'll uh, outfit the hatch area and open the hatch and then we can start offloading the supplies. So uh, hang on to your hats. Uh, the first wagon of supplies will be arriving here shortly. When Dragon comes to Space Station here in a couple of weeks, it's going to first fly close and that's because this is the first of a commercial vehicle to come to Space Station. We want to make sure we have all our ducks in a line and instead of just flying right up about 30 feet from station, we're going to first just kind of fly close. It's like sticking your toes in the water just to make sure that everything's okay before you jump in. And, and that's, that's a part of the demonstration part of this mission. And then after, after it's done the, the close flyby, then we're gonna regroup, it's gonna come back, and it's gonna get real close. It's gonna fly 10 meters away. That's about 30 feet, and it's just gonna hover there while Andre and I, working the Canada arm, are gonna, uh, snag the Dragon vehicle and once we've captured the vehicle on the end of the arm then we can uh, readily manipulate the vehicle and put it against one of our our common berthing mechanism ports and then uh, I will uh, drive the bolts to to bolt the, the Dragon vehicle to the Nader port on node 2. That's where it's currently planned to go and then once it's all buttoned up. Uh, there's about a four-hour process where we do leak checks and uh, then we open up one hatch and there's a little vestibule area, a small volume, 
and uh, a whole rat's nest of wires and tubes and hoses and things in this area. And we're going to be connecting up a bunch of those. And then uh, once we have the Dragon vehicle all powered up, then we'll open up the Dragon's hatch. And hopefully there'll be a bunch of goodies inside for us. Usually resupply vehicles, when the, when the Russians fly progress vehicle up, they always put a few goodies in there for us, like fresh fruit, which we live in this mechanized environment where all our food comes from a bag, and it's really, really nice to get some fresh fruit. And the Russians will provide us fresh fruit on the progress. Uh, ATV docked here a few weeks ago, and, well, they weren't able to get any fresh fruit on there. I'm kind of hoping that Dragon will have uh, at least uh, some kind of fresh fruit for us uh, as sort of a little goodie when we open the hatch and uh, start offloading the supplies.